This is the Media Frame Open Reading Frame Finder. So this is a tool where you can plug in your mRNA and your protein sequence, and it will try to find within your mRNA sequence whether the protein is encoded. Alternatively, you can search for keywords such as BRCA2, CFTR, or breast cancer 2. Uh, so I just want to recap over why I decided to have this tool for Media Frame as a module. Uh, so recently I was contacted by one of my colleagues who happens to be a medical doctor and he sent samples of a patient to two distinct labs. The results came in to him and they seemed a bit contradictory because he looked at it. Uh, both labs concluded that there was a mutation in the same gene, but somehow he couldn't sort it out that the annotations were looking different. And uh, he contacted me for clarification. I realized at that point is that... Um, Although we have a lot of tools in the field of bioinformatics for these kind of things, it's um, usually done by the bioinformaticians for the bioinformaticians or the researchers who happen to already have uh, a grasp on the technical jargon and they're uh, acquainted with using these tools and they know how the interface works and the other backend programs and uh, so on. So it's a little bit, uh, I think, uh, painful for the clinicians who happen to deal with the patients in the front lines and who have are running on time restrictions and who need to give a fast diagnosis to use these tools because it's not really uh, clear how to navigate your way through these, especially if you're not really knowing much about the genetics and how these things are uh, annotated, the nomenclature and so on. So I tried to make this whole process a bit more streamlined. So this is my take on finding operating frames. And I will just uh, briefly uh, walk you through how to use the software. I just recently finished it. So naturally, I'm expecting to have a lot of bugs. And hopefully, I will be ironing most of them out in the upcoming weeks. Um, so you have three fields. And uh, the first field is uh, the mRNA. So this is where you put your mRNA sequence. Underneath, you have the protein sequence. And underneath, you have the name, which is optional. Um, so what I will do over here is... Naturally, we are working with Metaframe on protein, human protein sequences that only happen to have a Uniprot accession ID as well. So for that reason, we're not going to fetch for, the, for you the older versions. What you're going to get is always the latest version that also happens to have the Uniprot uh, symbols as well. So in cases where you don't want the recent versions of a sequence, what you can do is you can just copy-paste uh, the sequence. Uh, doesn't matter where you get them, uh, either from UCSC, uh, from Ensemble, or uh, NCBI. And then you can just uh, click the Analyze button over here uh, without using any keywords. So first I will show you how to use the keywords, and I will just try CFTR. So what it will do is it will just fetch from the middle frame the version of the sequence that we're using. Normally it takes a couple of seconds. We also happen to have a GitHub account where you can uh, integrate this whole backend API that we have into your own software in case you don't want to use the user interface. So what it will do for you right now is just to put the mRNA sequence, the protein sequence, the gene name and the gene symbol, and a bit of other metadata that you might need. And underneath you have the extracted mRNA. So what you can do is click the zoom out button and then you will go back to the main panel. And on the back side of it, you will see uh, sequence display. So what you have is uh, the, all the mRNA and the protein sequences justified to the left. So you have the cDNA ruler, the mRNA sequence, protein sequence, and the protein ruler. So what it looks like is you have the protein sequence down here, the mRNA sequence, and their respective numberings. What you can do is you can add more panels, you can add more sequences. I will remove these for now, and I will just show you how you can also use it manually. Uh, so what I will do is, uh, you can use UCSC table browser, Ensemble, or anything that fits your agenda. What I will do is, I went to NCBI, and here we have uh, an example gene. Uh, two fields that is important for you is the translation field and the mRNA field. So what I will do is, I will just try to get this uh, translation sequence. Uh, Control C, and then I will try to put it in the protein inbox. Uh, don't worry about the spaces or the non-word characters such as codes. They will be stripped off in the end, so it's not a problem. And I'll do the same for the mRNA sequence. Um, I mean, there is no way of not getting these numbers anyway, so don't worry about getting them. I just coarsely highlighted this sequence and then copied, and now I'm going to paste it in the mRNA input. And an optional name. 
let's give it a test and then when you hit the analyze button it will if it finds then it will give you a notification so what you can do is you can go back to the main panel and then over there you will have on the bottom the latest sequence that you added so we have the cftr in above the four lines with its ruler and then we have the test on the bottom so what it does is it doesn't align the whole sequence although i have plans to have an aligner uh, for the next version i have a couple of ideas where i can do client-side aligning quite fast but for this version what it will do is it will, it will just justify the protein sequences on the left so they start at the same time for easy comparison and that's pretty much it so this is the tool as it is now don't forget that your uh, input is really important so if you have comments suggestions just don't forget to include them in the comment section below and have a good day.